Hello everyone, it's me Shopper. Welcome to another Legend of Mushrooms. Today we have a video to be giving you an overview over the different cloths that is available in the game. Wait, I see you back in there. Why there is any need for actually having a clothes in this game? Well, there is so much in this game that many of us haven't really figured out or have found yet. There is the arena, that's why we have over here the need of having a different class and not only that there is also dungeons there is three dungeons available right now there is the assault lamp thief the molten rune as well as the ruined ancient city and there will be a fourth one that will be coming but it's not the object of the video today let's have a look over the classes that is available and let's do my evolve to choose which class i'm going for Let's go to the mushroom man in here and then evolve. For the evolve here, we actually able to do it when we are level 30. That's the first evolve and to be evolving, it will be helping out to unlock different skills or to be more specific, the passive skills. Like as an example here, we have the archer to be having the archer passive skills. And the first one for the combat, it will be increased by 30%. And at level 40, you're going to be having the attack speed increased by 15 and ignore the evasion by 10%. And the more levels, the more passive we're going to have. We have the mage clause as well. And for the passive skill here, going to be having the skill crit going to be increased by 15%. And the next skill gonna be increasing the attack at level 40 with 12%. And the same gonna be having more. And for the archer, back to the archer here. For the active skill, it's gonna be an AoE damage. Summoning a sunflower dealing 1869% AoE damage and increase the combo damage received by the targets within range by 60% that's gonna be lost in 4 or 5 seconds so it's gonna be making for the archer going to be an AOE damage dealer and for the mage here for the active skill it will be the mature plates basic attack stuns on targets within the range by 30% that will be lost in for 5 seconds so it's this one I believe going to be just stunning. It's the same with the, uh, the percentage of the AoE damage. It's 18% uh, 18,069 and for the passive going to be the same over here. For the last class going to be the warrior to be a close combat. For the active skill gonna be the cocklebore dance or mm, I don't know. It's some dance. It will be summoning some something here, dealing 1800 with 69% AoE damage. And not just that, but it will be increasing the counter damage received by targets within range by 60%. And it will be as well lost in 4 by second. For the best skill, the first one going to be the counter, going to be increased by 30% and the counter multiplier gonna be increased by 30%. For the next skill when level 40 it will be increasing the defense by 30%. So the warrior is basically focusing on more defense to be helping you to be surviving even more. For me with this game I'm going to actually go for the archer this time. So for me, personally, I see that the archer having really a good potential later on. The mage still and the warrior, it's all really good classes. It's more that I prefer to go for the long range. Either the archer or the mage would have been my choice. But personally, I see that actually the mage is the best option to be going for in the start. I'm only going for the archer just because some different changes, you know. I'll be playing with the mage later on as well to be making a different account just to try out each class and check out the skills and making some guides for them as well. So make sure to be subscribing to the channel as you don't want to be missing this content. So let's 
actually do the evolve and go for the archer. Yes, I choose to go for the archer. There we go. The mushroom man have become the archer mushroom man. And we got the complete skills switched to the active skill to him and the same for the passive skill. It all have got switched to the archer. And we can see we have two skills, the other two going to be unlocked by the next evolve. And we see here the next evolve gonna be when we are level 50. And it will be unlocking this skill over here. And of course it will be most likely to level, I believe level 60 maybe. So it's really good to be having this evolve. It will be helping out to be increasing the damage dealt from your class or your mushroom as well as giving you big advantage into clearing more campaign. That's all guys for the classes overview over the legend of mushrooms. Make sure to be writing to me in the comment sections if you tried out the game yet, which class you have picked and make sure to be as well liking the video so let's help more people to understand more about the classes in the Legend of Mushroom. That's all and see you all with another video. Till then, take care and enjoy the game and have a lovely mushroom hunt. Bye bye.